Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my August favourites for you and I cannot believe the summer is pretty much over. We're all going back to school and work if you work at school and basically I'm just getting ready for autumn now which is a little bit, I mean I love autumn but summer is my favourite month, um, summer is my favourite season even rather than month. Anyway I've had a great great summer and I wanted to share with you all of my August favourites. I've got quite a lot of makeup products, I've got a perfume, some a hair product and a book and an app. So there's lots to show you today and I'm really excited to show you as I've really been loving these products this month and I'm going to get started before I keep rambling on. So I'm going to start with makeup products first so if you're not really into the random things you can then click off but there's not many random things if you did want to stay. So I'm going to get started with the first thing and it's the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. Now I bought this because I had a bit of a tan when I got back off my holiday and I just wanted, I was going on a night out and I wanted to wear something other than bronzer and powder which is all I had been wearing. So I picked up this and this was in the shade 303 True Nude. Now this is a really, really good foundation. I think it was about seven or eight pound, probably eight pound. And it's got a really buildable coverage. So if you like it a light coverage, you can have it light, but I like quite a heavy coverage. So you can just build it up and keep adding on layers, which is what I did for my night out. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, that night out was so, so hot. Everyone was really like sweaty and gross. For some reason it was just hot. And this foundation stayed on like a trooper. Nothing happened. It didn't slip. It didn't slide. It stayed matte. Obviously I'd set it with my matte powder, but it stayed on. It stayed in place and it left me with really nice coverage all night with no cakiness. So I've been using this pretty much every day. I haven't got it on today. I changed it up because I feel like my tan's going a little bit. So this is such a great foundation it's fairly inexpensive it's got buildable coverage it's not cakey at all it's got spf 20 in it and i feel like i'm gonna buy the other shade that matches my normal skin color rather than my tan so i really really like this it says it's got pore blurring effect and 24 hour moisture now i'm not too sure about the pore blurring effect but it definitely makes your skin look really really nice so i'm impressed with that well done real Next, now you're going to have to excuse how dirty this is, but it's basically a makeup sponge. I picked this up from Wilkinson's and I've been using it the past, well, since I bought that foundation, so about two or three weeks ago. And I really, really love it. Basically, I can be quite lazy with makeup. I used to put it on with my fingers and I saw this in Wilkinson's for £1.50 and thought I was just going to pick it up and give it a try. I recently saw Stephanie Lang's video, you've probably all heard of her, and she was teaching um, foundation do's and don'ts. So instead of rubbing the foundation on, she's saying to dab it on. And I've been doing that as well, and I find it's really, really good. It helps your foundation look really flawless. I've got to admit, it takes slightly longer to do it this way, but the effect it gives after looks really, really nice. And I just love this sponge, it's nice and soft and spongy as you would want a sponge. It's a nice shape so you can get into all the, you know, under your eyes, places like that. And this is from Wilco's, so I've never actually tried the Real Techniques one um, or a beauty blender, but I just like this, it's quite good. So if you are looking for something like that, but cheaper, try that because I re I've been really enjoying using that to apply my makeup. Although it is quite dirty now, it does need a wash, doesn't it? Don't judge me. That is what it's for, isn't it? Next thing I have is a Real Techniques powder brush. Now I got this for my birthday off my boyfriend's mum and I've only really this month started using it. And I love it. I don't know why I didn't use it sooner. It's a nice big fluffy brush. I've never used any Real Techniques face brushes before and I am obsessed with it. I love it. It's brilliant. You get no fallout uh, of the bristles. And I know my number seven um, brush, which I did pay quite a lot for, was just constantly falling out and leaving hairs all over my face, which did not look good at all. So I'm really, really impressed with this. I use this to put on my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. 
And again, I use the Stephanie Lang's tip where you just kind of pat it on rather than stroke it on. And again, I'm loving the effect that that's giving um, my skin once I've put it on. So that's the Real Techniques powder brush. Needs a bit of a wash, but I really, really love it. And I'm going to go and pick up the rest of the face brushes, I think. I've saved my pennies and I think I'm going to do that. Next makeup thing, I'm going to admit I've only been loving this for the past week and you can tell because it's barely been used. I've had this for quite a while and I just put it on the other day when I was going out for a family meal and I really, really liked it and I've worn it pretty much every day since. It's the Max Factor Excess Shimmer Eyeshadow and I don't know what colour it is, what it's called, I'll find out and um, write it down below. But it looks like that and it's this gorgeous goldy browny colour. It's a nice cream eyeshadow. You can see I've barely used it. It has been the last few days. But I really like the effect it gives you and it's so easy to apply which is good for me because I am lazy with eyeshadow. It's easy to apply. It looks really, really nice. And I just really like the look it gives and it stayed on all night when I went out for that family meal. So, And I've also been wearing it in the day. And again, it stays on throughout the day. But my biggest key thing about this is it's easy to apply and the colour is just beautiful when it's on your eyes. I'll find out the colour for you guys and um, write it down below. And if there's any other colours, I think I'm going to pick them up because I like that. Next is the Maybelline Brow Drama. I showed this in a haul before I went on holiday and I have been loving this. I am not the best at eyebrows but I am trying to learn and it's basically just a sculpting brow mascara comes with a little wand like that and I've just been basically brushing my eyebrow hairs up a little bit and just put adding a little bit of shape to my eyebrows and I really really like the look that it gives me it gives me a lot thicker looking eyebrows the gel is great it keeps them in place all day and I'm really enjoying kind of working on my eyebrows. I haven't actually got it on today, but I have worn it pretty much every day in August. I really like it. Last couple of makeup bits we have are, is, this is basically something that I've re, what's the word? Found again and I love it again. And it's the Christian Dior Lip Glow. And it is the Colour Reviver Balm. So I got this quite a long time ago and it was about £22 and my boyfriend Adam took the mickey out of me and he was like this is just like a re this is just the colour of your lips. So I was put off of it for a while and as you can see I really love it because it's pretty much near the end. But it's basically a nice, it, it looks clear on my hand pretty much, but you basically put it on your lips and it just brings out the colour of your lips. Mine look go like a really nice pinky colour. It's um, nice and shiny, it's almost like a lip gloss, but it's a lip balm, it really um, makes your lips really nice and soft, and I really like the colour that it gives, but it was £22 and it's nearly gone, so I don't know if I'm going to pick up another one, um, but I do really, really like it, I might get it if I fancy treating myself one day, if I've got a little bit of extra money or something, but I've really, really been loving that. The other colour that I've been using is actually quite surprising, because I didn't think that I would... I don't know, I didn't know if I'd wear it, but it's this um, Bourgeois Paris Colour Boost and it's in the colour Orange Punch. And I wore this on holiday pretty much every day. Now, let me show you the colour. That's the colour, but when you actually put it on your lips, it's almost like, it's just a corally colour, like a pinky, orangey colour. And it doesn't go on your lips too bright, you can build up the colour which is what I love, I'm not very bold with lips, quite boring with makeup, but this I really, really liked. It's just so nice and summery, it was great for my holiday, and it also made my lips feel really soft and smooth, and it stayed on for quite a while, so I really enjoyed using that whilst I was on my holiday. I haven't actually used it since I've been back, but I think I might use it on nights out and things like that but to be honest you could probably wear it in the day for work as well because it's not really bright it's just a nice neutrally coral colour next I'm going to go on to random things so there's four more things left 
that I will show you. So the next thing is a scent and it's my favourite perfume and it's the Versace Crystal Nure perfume. Now I've got a couple of favourite perfumes but this is certainly one of them. Now the, the lid comes off, it's quite a big heavy lid and this is just the 30ml bottle. I don't even know how to describe the scent, I'm rubbish at describing scents but it's just I really don't know how to describe it. If you go to your local Boots or Superdrug, go and have a little sniff. I'll write down below the notes that are in it because I'm not too sure what it smells like. But I wore this a lot when I was <coughs> 18, 19. And I've just been basically re-wearing it. It's been reminding me of those times. I really like the scent. And whenever I wear this to work or out with family or on nights out, I always get a comment on how nice it smells. So I really like that. If you're looking for a new perfume, you could maybe pick up that. I don't, I'm not too sure how expensive it is. I think it's quite expensive, but this lasts for ages. It's quite a strong smelling perfume. I really don't know how to describe scents. I'm rubbish. But like I say, pop down to Boots or Superdrug and give it a sniff if you're interested. And I'll try and write what the notes are in the perfume below. Next thing is my Tangle Teaser. Again, this is something that I've re-fallen in love with. In fact, I never loved it to start off with. There was a big craze of these Tangle Teasers and I picked one up and I was like, what is this? Ad? It didn't help my hair at all. I've got really, really thick hair with different layers and I just found it was a bit... I didn't feel like it went through my hair very well. Now, I'm probably going to get quite a lot of moans about this, but I've basically just been putting it in my shower. It's leaky water all over me. And when I put my conditioner in, I run the Tangle Teaser through my hair because my hair gets really, really knotty after I've had a shower and washed my hair. So I've been using this Tangle Teaser and I love it. It makes my hair just not free. There's no tangles in there. I find if I use it without conditioner, it's not the best. I tend to just use my normal brush. It's leaking water everywhere because it's been in the shower. But it's just that one, it's the uh, Bright Orange Tangle Teaser. I am sure you all know and love Tangle Teasers. But that is, I've basically just fallen in love with it because when I get out of the shower, it's just like, it's horrible trying to brush my hair when I haven't brushed it through with conditioner in the shower. I've got a really itchy eye. Um, so that's basically just been a bit of a saviour and I found when I get out of the shower and go and dry my hair and style it, it's been a lot easier once I've brushed it through with a tangle teaser. So that is that. Next thing is really, really random and it's Vic's First Defence. Now you're probably going to be thinking, it's summer, why are you using this and why is this even in a favourites? But let me tell you this, before I went on holiday, we were babysitting Adam's little cousin and she was full of cold and we were babysitting her for like two days and um, Adam then caught the cold and I was like, I really don't want it, it's a few days before I go on holiday. So I picked up this. Now basically you spray it up your nose when you get a first sign of like a cold, so a sore throat or a bit of a sniffle. And you can also use it if you just think you're at risk of getting a cold. And you just spray it up your nose um, twice, twice each nostril. I think it's like up to four times a day. Yeah, four times a day. And this stopped me from getting a cold. Let me tell you, I have got the immune system of, I don't know, somebody who hasn't got a good immune system. It is not good. I catch everything. And if I catch a cold, it goes to my chest. I get a chest infection. And... I don't know, I always get ill. So I picked up this, this is great. I didn't catch the cold. And recently I was hanging out with my stepbrother and he had a cold, so I used this and I didn't get it. It could just be the fact that I didn't catch it, but I don't know. Like I say, my immune system is not good at all. So I like this and I'm gonna keep this throughout the winter months. I don't know how often you can use it you can't use it consecutively like all the time but I don't know how many like bouts you can use it um but obviously working at a primary school with loads of kids and coughs and colds this is probably I hope going to be like a little saviour for me so if you've got like a, quite a bad I don't know why my immune system's bad I just seem to pick everything up but if you're like me and you have a pretty bad immune system or if you work at school or whatever try that because I really really like that and it did stop me from catching those colds I think Last thing is a book 
and I read this within probably a week now people probably read books weekly but I'm not a big book reader I'm trying to get into it a little bit more um, but it's Zoella's Zoe Suggs girl online book now Adam bought me this book Ooh, quite a while ago and it was just kind of sat on my shelf and I thought I'm going to take it on holiday and I'm going to give it a read because I like watching Zoe's videos and I thought I'd read it so this is a hardback book I think you can now get it in um, paperback so it just looks like that it's got Zoe on the back and I really really liked it I'm going to be honest I couldn't put it down I just kept reading it and reading it and reading it I love the characters I love the fact that the girl has anxiety and you can kind of, because I know what Zoe said, that she doesn't really see any books or films with people who've got anxiety in it. And I do think it's quite important because if people don't know about it and they read about it in a book, it could help them realise something that they've got or something that a friend's going through. And I, I don't know, I really like that. And I like the characters, I like the storyline, and I cannot wait now for book two because... I'm going to read it and I'm going to get it. So, yeah, I was a bit unsure if it was going to be a little bit too aimed too young. But I don't think so. I enjoyed it. Like I say, I'm 25 and Zoe's, I think Zoe's my age. And so I thought I was going to give it a, a read and I really, really enjoyed it. And I can't wait for book two. I'm really excited. And I quite liked having the hardback book as opposed to the paperback. And it was quite nice reading a book of somebody who you watch on YouTube, who you actually know, well, not, I don't know her, but who you feel like you know. Um, so that is the book I've been reading, and I'm going to try and read a little bit more, um, hopefully, if I find time. I don't really know what I do, I just faff about, I think. But anyway, that is my monthly favourites for August. So I'm gonna, I've recently sorted out all my wardrobes, so I think I'm gonna do a wardrobe tour and probably a room tour, hopefully before I go back to work because I wanna get quite a few videos filmed and up for you guys, for you to enjoy. I hope you've all had a fantastic summer, I hope you're all having a great day. Comment below and let me know what your favourites were this month and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys!